Well, Gila Bend, let's go south of the valley, remains under a state of emergency at this very hour and uh, pretty frightening images when you take a look at this. I mean, this water came down so fast and so much of it after uh, those monsoon storms Friday night caused severe flooding. You can see a big portion of this part of town under water. No, these aren't roadways uh, or they are roadways. It's not a river. In fact, so this is State Route 85. The Maricopa County Sheriff's Office has uh, sadly two people died as a result of the flooding, which yeah, is something, I mean, of course, you never want to see. That's going straight down the middle of town there. It really Hila is. Bend. So yeah, look the main at drag. that, you know, so dozens of people had to be rescued from this storm and now officials are trying to account for everybody to make sure that everybody's OK and then start the cleanup process down there in Gila Bend. Yeah, which is not going to be easy. Ty Brennan is live in Gila Bend with the latest this morning on how this storm hit folks in that community. Hey, Ty. Good morning, you guys. Yeah, you mentioned it, but this is just devastating to see all of the mess that was left behind from that flooding. Uh, take a look. They've got heavy equipment out here this morning trying to clear some of these roadways in the area that was hardest hit. We're on the south side of town, which is really the area that was hit hard uh, by all of these floodwaters. So you can see all these streets that were basically just turned to mud. Uh, so they've been trying to kind of clear these uh, out of the way to get folks, you know, be able to kind of move around a little bit finally here in Gila Bend after all of that flooding. I'm going to have Mike just kind of switch over and take a look, though, at this house right here. You can see uh, the line around this particular house, probably a good, what, two and a half feet, maybe even three feet in some areas where this water came up. So that gives you just an indication of how much water was flowing through this particular area at the height uh, of this storm. Pretty incredible. Incredible. And take a look at the sidewalk. You can't even see it right here. This is still all covered with mud out here. So just inches thick of mud out here in this particular neighborhood in Gila Bend. Now, just a few minutes ago, I was able to speak to the mayor. Obviously, he has just been bombarded uh, trying to you know, take care of his residents here that have been hit so hard by these floods. We asked him specifically, how can we at home help? Uh, this is what he had to say. At this point, we are looking for donations of totes uh, because a lot of citizens, they just don't have the storage capacity to put what belongings they can salvage out of their homes and, to, and, and remove. So we're looking for totes. Uh, the Lions Club has uh, graciously stepped up and they are looking for donations to help try to provide housing for our temporary housing in the hotels for people who are trying to clean up their homes so they're not trying to live in homes that are really been underwater. And speaking of those individuals that had to flee their homes, the mayor told me probably around 130 homes are right now are uninhabitable uh, here in this particular area. So he says if you, you say on average there's about four people that live in a house, we're talking, you know, close to four or five hundred people that are without homes right now in the Gila Bend area. So you're taking a live picture right now. Uh, this tractor just pulled out a car that was stuck in the mud at the end of this road. You can't see it. It's a white sedan uh, that they're kind of just talking down the road now just to try and clean up but this is just going to be you know obviously a lot of hours to clean this up but the thing that the mayor told me uh, that they are extremely worried about we are expecting more wet weather here in the coming days especially Tuesday we could have another round of wet weather and so the mayor is extremely worried he said because obviously this ground is already saturated it really cannot take much more and if we do get as much rain as we saw come through the Gila Bend area. He said that we could be having some massive issues once again here at Gila Bend. So they are keeping a very watchful eye to the sky. He said there is the possibility they could be even issuing some evacuations if they start to see those rains uh, coming through this particular area just because they don't want to have to have the same type of situation that we ran into a uh, Friday night into early Saturday morning when you were having to rescue people. And unfortunately, as you mentioned, two people dying here in Gila Bend because of these floodwaters. So that's the very latest here in Gila Bend. We're of course going to keep kind of touring around, showing you some of the hardest hit areas uh, throughout the morning. Back to you guys. You know, Ty, let me ask you this. You mentioned 130 homes that are really uninhabitable at this time. Where, where have all those families gone? Have you been able to uh, talk to any of them there in the community? 
you know, I did ask the mayor that very question, where are a lot of them going? He said a lot of them staying with friends and family. They have also opened up a few shelters, so folks have been staying there as well. Uh, some of them going into hotels in the nearby area, up into the Phoenix area as well. Uh, so a lot of them kind of finding other places to stay while they try and figure out exactly what they're going to do to put their lives back together after this devastating flood here. Mm -hmm. All right, Ty, thank you for the reporting down there. I'm sure we'll have another report from you down there uh, coming up soon because I have some, some more questions as yeah. well. So we'll see Ty here in a little bit. Yeah, our thoughts and prayers with those families involved. I mean, just imagine that, just to have your entire home destroyed. Uh, so you can track the storms on our Fox 10 weather app. We do have more storms on the way tomorrow into Wednesday as well. Flash flood warning in effect today through 2 a.m. tonight. It is free and available in our app store.